Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get unready with me. I saw Raw Beauty Christy do this. It was a while back, but like ever since then I was like, hmm, you do chit chat. I just never thought to call it like a chit chat get unready with me. That's what we're going to be doing today. I did film this makeup look this morning. It should be up before this, so I will link it up here. Sorry if this backdrop is looking a little rough. I don't understand, but it's fine. So if y'all want to see how I remove my makeup, but also hear about some things that have been happening recently that I haven't been able to talk about in like other videos, then just keep watching. First, I'm obviously going to start by removing my makeup. If y'all watched any of my skincare videos or my other Get Unready With Me, then y'all know that I removed my makeup with this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. It's the best stuff ever. By the way, this lipstick, I haven't reapplied it at all. It's like a regular lipstick. I normally don't do that. I don't know what I just did that for. It's lasted all day and I ate cereal, banana, and I've been drinking water. I was really surprised at that last. I normally don't remove my lipstick. I normally do that last. Ignore that. I just got caught up on the lipstick. Whenever I do a good makeup look, I pretty much always want to do it unready with me is because I want to have like another video with this makeup on. I'm going to be talking about some things that I've been wanting to talk about recently, but I just haven't. I just realized recently that I just get way too stressed out when it comes to makeup. I realized it whenever I wanted to film going full glam makeup tutorial because I haven't been wearing foundation recently. I was filming it and I really liked the makeup look. I did like a halo eye with a Dream Street palette because I haven't really been using that. It turned out really good. I liked it. I got the eyelashes. My eyelashes never work out unless I do Alexis. I always try and be different, do a different pair, and then I end up going to Alexis because the other pair makes it look awful. I was just like getting stressed out because I had put Chloe lashes on because I was trying to be different. I'm gonna wash my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I just switched them out to Alexis, which I'd already put on Chloe, and then I took them off and like peeled off like half of my eye makeup. I was already stressed out after that. I did like a pormenalizing primer and I did foundation concealer and powder. And I realized how awful it looked. I don't like foundation anymore and I don't really like pore filling primers either. I used the Smashbox one, but it just made my skin look so dry and I was like, okay, whatever, I'm done. And I really liked the eye look that I created. So I feel like if I would do it again and then like just do like my regular face, do my Alexis lashes, like do everything like that. I feel like I would want to film it again. Would y'all want to see it? I'll kind of insert like a little clip right here or a picture, a screenshot or something where y'all can see the look. Let me know if y'all want me to do that. I'm going to go wash this off my face now using the always scrubby thing. I was just like, why are you getting so obsessed over like makeup? I'm such a perfectionist. Just something that makes life really hard. That's what happened there. And I missed Thursday's upload because I haven't been feeling it. I just don't have ideas. So I don't want to film if I don't have ideas because I don't want to just film random stuff to upload. I want to upload what I want to upload. I want to upload what y'all want to see. I want to do them because I'm passionate about them. I was using the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. I'm going to go in with the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Glacial Water Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. I was going to vlog my last day of school. I was going to make like a huge thing out of it, like vlog a week of the last day of school. I didn't. And I tried to do like a little bit of a drive with me, like whether it was going to be a separate video or a segment of the vlog and I have this camera in my car. I think it was a really good angle but I just was uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't really know why. Thursday's video was supposed to be the Shop Miss A favorites but it literally took like six hours to edit. Probably more than that actually but I just used the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. That's what's been happening. I just really don't want to get stressed out with makeup. If I'm getting stressed out then I'm gonna stop. It's not worth me losing like years of my life. I like remind myself makeup is fun Allie. It's supposed to be fun. YouTube is supposed to be fun. I'm not gonna do things that I'm not having fun doing. I'm not going to stress myself out doing a makeup look. I do really want to get more creative because today I had so much more fun. I've never done a look that I had eight different colors going on every time that something would go wrong like i'm not getting stressed out i'm not getting stressed out and it worked out a lot better that way i think me getting stressed out makes things go wrong if that makes sense i've made videos before where i literally need your help i need your video recommendations if it's a creative look creative inspiration whether it's like a picture
color or something you want me to base my makeup off of. I want to do more than like eyes. Like I want to make it like my face. I want to do art. I want to do things like that. Also leave me video recommendations down below for doing with a friend, doing someone's makeup, whether we're doing a challenge, whether we're doing a q and I can't really do a QA and a though because no one asks me questions. I want to do YouTube. I want to make videos, but I don't want to dread editing them because I don't like it. And I'm not going to make videos that I don't like. I'm literally always doing something for YouTube. In my free time, I'm either watching YouTube, which obviously isn't like work, but you know, whatever. Editing, I'm making a video if I can. I'm editing my description box. I'm replying to comments. I'm constantly trying to do things to improve my YouTube channel. And I uploaded twice a week for probably a month straight. And I was really proud of myself. And I was like, I really don't want to like miss an upload. But then I was like, I don't have a good video to put up. So why would I like put up a video that's like kind of like meh. But instead, I just worked on my shop and say video for longer. And it would really help if y'all like shared my videos or like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I just feel weird saying that. Like tagged companies that I use or things like that. I don't know how any thing works but <laughs> I'm guessing it would help especially if you like my videos if you interact on them it helps my channel I just feel like I haven't grown at all I actually thought that summer I was gonna be able to pump out videos but I have so many plans and I mean yeah that's good but I wanted to be able to film I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer or negative Nelly whatever you want to call it but I just wanted to tell you what was on my mind recently the things that I would want to do are like challenges and I want to do like makeup beauty faith videos I don't want to do like 10 types of people who do this I'm not like that kind of channel I'm not saying those people are bad because I mean they're great you have to have those on YouTube just don't feel like that's my calling <laughs> like I don't put on skits and stuff which is really cool and they're fun to watch and stuff but I just I don't feel like I can make those kind of things and I'm not really fashion-y sorry and I can't be doing like outfits or whatever hopefully I'll just do more vlogs like maybe I'll do like weekend vlogs or like week vlogs but I do know I really really want to meet Taylor Swift that's all I know one thing that I want to do before I die is meet Taylor Swift I know it sounds like so cheesy and like annoying because like Taylor Swift and people are like she changed or whatever but I love Taylor Swift I've just loved her since her first album came out I've always been a Taylor Swift fan I love Taylor Swift so much and when people would say that they don't like her i'd be like what's wrong with you i don't have tickets to her concert yet and i wish i did but i don't i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you liked this video you'd probably like any of my other videos i would love it if you subscribe to my channel please leave any of your recommendations down below thank you so much for watching bye